All right, so show of hands, who here is indecisive? <laughs> so that's interesting. You think I'm looking for the high hands, I'm actually looking for the sort of halfway hands. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, uh, Dr. Duraki asked me what the title of my presentation was gonna be, and I was like, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it, you know? <laughs> Indecision is kind of a funny topic for a thesis. But for me, it really speaks to something that I've struggled with a lot. It's hard to be a grad student when, it's, when you don't have an easy time making up your mind. To be a grad student, you, know, you have a limited amount of time to really go all in and try to dig as deep as you can. So how do you do that when you can't even make up your mind what, what it is that you want to do? Well, one of the things that occurred to me is certainly for a creative professional and likely for other professions as well. You have to learn to find one of your weaknesses and, and turn it into a strength. So I thought, okay, how can I take indecision, this like very negative connotation, you know, uh, word, and turn that into an object of investigation, something that actually enables me to go forward. So when I made up my mind that that could actually be a, a viable path. I started to look at my work differently. I started to see how even in my past work, I was already employing different strategies to sort of cope with my uncertainty. Now those strategies could be, for example, coming up with something that's insanely time consuming, where the decision instant is just a small part of something that's much larger, where I get to spend more time just on the hands-on stuff. Or another thing that I use sometimes is humor, because with humor, you get to sort of interrupt the, 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 the seriousness of uh, like art exhibitions, the, art, the gallery space, and it also sort of alleviates the burden of coming up with a, with a very definitive art statement. Now though, as this idea continues to sort of mature, I'm starting to come up with other strategies, and I'm able to take on more considerations. So one of the things, that was interesting to me was when I started to notice that I was developing symbols. In the image behind me, for example, you might not really recognize a lot of what's going on, but that central sort of metallic piece actually started with the idea of making an invertible shoe shine chair. I wanted to sort of communicate the, the possibility of a server and the server switching roles. When you're in that space, you won't necessarily get that. It's an abstraction. You'll actually form a lot of questions in your mind as you approach that work. My aim, and I don't have it figured out yet, but is to figure out a way to make that a positive experience for everyone. Fill them with questions, but leave them happy. <laughs>